Phantom, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite Scarlet Speedster. Of course, I'm talking about The Flash. And we're going to dive into some runs that you can jump in without any previous knowledge and you'll be perfectly fine. So, let's get into it. The Flash is a character that has had a long-standing history in the DC Universe and in some ways is the linchpin of what holds the DC Universe together. So it makes sense that a lot of you out there have been asking me, hardcover, how can I get into The Flash? The Flash is a character that I love. I love the TV show, but I don't know where to start. Well, why not start with DC Rebirth's Flash? This is the most recent incarnation of The Flash, written by James Robinson and art by Carmen Gian Demencio. This is a fun ride all the way through. I have been loving this ride so far, and it's actually one of my top picks for the DC Rebirth. Essentially what it is is that it pits Barry Allen as a mentor. He is a mentor to a bunch of these different flashes that are suddenly starting to show up after this speed force storm hits his city. Now what Barry soon finds out is that just because all of these people suddenly have the power of the Flash, doesn't necessarily mean that they have the good intentions that he has. And in comes one of the best villains that I've been reading in The Flash in recent memory, and I'm talking about Godspeed. Now what Flash list would be complete if I didn't include Jeff John's monumental run on the character? Now I should note that it is Wally West that Jeff John started writing, not Barry Allen. Barry Allen at this time still had not come back. That will be something that we touch on later. But what Jeff Johns does with Wally West is that he explores the legacy of the character. He explores the weight of having to carry the Flash mantle. You can tell, you can just honestly tell by reading this run that Jeff Johns loves the character of Barry Allen. Because throughout the entire thing, Wally West is basically saying, how would Barry handle this? How would Barry handle Professor Zoom? How would Barry handle the reverse Flash? How would he handle Tarpit? It's a really interesting examination because he really gets down to the core of the character and the relationships that he has with all of the rogues gallery and his wife and his subsequent family. Now, if you're a fan of the Flash rogues gallery like myself, and I'm talking about Captain Cold, Heat Wave, Tar Pit, Mirror Master, all those guys, they all make a monumental appearance in the Jeff Johns Flash run, and they are all written so well. You could tell Jeff Johns has a blast writing these characters. He has the voice down for Mirror Master and Captain Cold like nobody else. And there is a reason why those characters are so popular on the Flash TV show. Well, that's because Jeff Johns works on that show when he's one of the primary writers. The next one on my list has been out of print for so long that most fans thought it would never see the light of day, especially since this author and the company that he worked for, DC Comics, kind of had a falling out recently. Of course, I'm talking about Mark Wade's Flash run. What Mark Wade did with The Flash in the 1990s was absolutely stunning. What he did was that he put Wally West at the forefront of the DC Universe and he made him one of the most popular characters again. Before that, after Barry Allen had died, Flash kind of teetered off a little bit. Yes, he was still popular. Yes, he was still relevant. However, it wasn't until Mark Wade took over him in the 1990s that it really blew up again into a superstar book. Now, I personally have never read Mark Wade's Flash run. However, I've heard it is the stuff of legends and they are getting reprinted later this year. And to be honest, I cannot wait to get my hands on this and to finally dive into this run that I've heard so many great things about. Moving things along, back in the late 2000s, Jeff Johns decided to do what he does best and he decided to rebirth The Flash. And I'm talking about Barry Allen. The Flash rebirth is a great jumping on point because it brings back the speed force, it brings back Barry Allen, and it brings back a pivotal character to the DC Universe. Now this was a mixed bag for a lot of fans and they pretty much had the same reaction that they had when Jeff Johns revived Hal Jordan in his Green Lantern rebirth. How could you do it? Overall, this is a great jumping on point and the perfect place really to start reading modern day Flash stories because what this ends up leading to after he comes back and after a few issues is the Flashpoint story. For those of you that are wondering, what's Flashpoint? Flashpoint was essentially the event in the late 2000s, 2010, 2009, if I'm not mistaken, that led into the rebirth of the New 52. The New 52 was an initiative in 2011 where DC Comics decided, yeah, we're gonna start fresh, we're gonna start all new number ones, and we are gonna go from there. I know a lot of fans out there aren't that crazy about jumping onto an event, but trust me, Flashpoint is actually a really fun event full of multi-layered characters and an exploration of Barry Allen and what he means 
to the DC Universe as a whole. This of course leads me to the New 52 run of The Flash, written by Francis Manipal and art by Brian Buccalato. Now this is a run that I've heard a lot of mixed things about. I've heard some fans praise it, and I've heard some fans saying it's not that great, and I've also heard some fans say it kind of teeters off a little bit later. I personally have never read this run, however, I have heard a lot of mixed things about it. So if you are somebody that is interested in The Flash and you really want a great jumping on point that is even more modern day than The Flash Rebirth and Jeff Johns run, then you can jump into the New 52 run and you should be perfectly fine. So there you have it, those are the perfect jumping on points, at least in my opinion, of The Flash, and you can jump into them without any prior knowledge of the character and you should be absolutely fine. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I do weekly reviews of trade paperbacks, hardcover, special editions, omnibuses, absolutes, what don't I cover at this point? I do trailer reactions. Check out some of my other videos, please, I urge you, and let me know in the comment section what your favorite Flash is. Comment, subscribe, love you guys, have a great week.